Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to flash a finless custom ROM on um, K88 with um, any of these um, custom kernels. Okay, first we need MK808 device and also we need the USB cable with this and connect it to OTG cable. And also we need a pin to insert onto the hole to reset the device. Uh, put it on recovery mode to install the software or to organize on the batch tool. Okay, insert the hole, insert the pin in the hole while you're holding it and connect the USB to the computer. Now I have saved all the files in my desktop. Open that, open Finless 1.7 ROM folder and go to ROM flash tool. Right click and run as an administrator or you can double click. Click yes. As soon as you click yes, you will see this tool. It says no archivage tool rock USB is found because we don't have any USB drivers installed. To install the drivers, now you can remove the pin. Now go to my computer, right click, um, manage, then you can find uh, computer management. There's unknown device. Right click on it and click update private software now i have saved all the folders which is inside in my my um, desktop i'm going to browse for it i'm using windows 8 with 64-bit operating system inside one point finish one point seven folder you have all the drivers which you needed there you go i'm going to locate my necessary drivers as soon as you click 1.7 you can find Windows drivers, click on drivers. I'm gonna find Windows 6 x 64 64-bit operating system, Windows 8. Now click OK. Click next. Then it'll ask you do you want to install this drive software? Click yes. As soon as you're finished installing it, you can see the rock USB device is recognized. Now go back to the um, archivage tool. You can see found RK Android USB loader is founded. Here you go. You can see all these um, parameters kernel. So this is where you click to change the kernel. If you want to um, flash a custom kernel, click on that and open the kernel or browse for the kernel where you have saved. In Finless ROM, it's provided different kernels as well. You can choose the different kernel and also you can use to um, boot image as well and here you can change it change the boot image if you prefer okay next clicks NAND drive it should start um, flashing it will take a while okay and it says NAND race IDB is okay it's finished now click flash wrong there you go it started. Look out for this uh, progress um, to, for any errors. If you find any errors, you had to restart uh, from the beginning. I would strongly advise. Okay, I'm gonna pause the video. I'll come back again with the results. Okay, I'm back now. Um, I can see the message is run okay. So now you have successfully flashed finless ROM or custom ROM. Now ROM it from your device and um, connect back to your TV. Okay, this is a um, boot animation for finless ROM. Finless 1.7c. I'm sorry, um, you can't see it properly because I'm recording this on my Galaxy S3. Um, first boot, it will take a, take a while to boot. So be patient. It's worth a while uh, to wait until you get this is a nice boot flashy animation. Thanks for thanks to Bob who make this um, possible for us. Um, especially I got some request people who um, requested to show this boot animation. So here I'm showing this how long it takes. It's, it, it takes a minute or so um, to flash. It takes. Um, five to ten minutes so I strongly advise um, to do it on your own risk and um, if anything happened I'm not responsible at all but this is a help video or tutorial video
So this is a screen, you can't pretty much see anything. If there are two um, launchers, I prefer default launcher. Uh, 